Okay, so this is the first thing that we are going to try to do, trying different patterns and different stuff um, to put in my Etsy shop when I reopen it. Um, this is bloomers. These are, these are bloomers. <laughs> uh, they're high-waisted bloomers with a big sash bow in the front and... Yeah, obviously I'm making this for the size of my daughter, so I can just kind of like test it out and see if I like it or not. Um, so this is the first thing we're gonna try out. Um, we're also gonna make the skirted bummies and just regular old bummies. Um, and maybe something else that I have that is for boys. Um, it's a button up shirt. We are going to see what I can do with that. Um, the reason why I'm trying to like do more things um, is just because I have some cotton fabric that I kind of want to get rid of. Um, so I figured, you know, just having some things out, maybe it's not going to have like a wide range of sizes, but, um, you know, just something to kind of put out there and hopefully somebody buys it and, you know, just kind of goes. Um, so yeah you guys let's get started with this um obviously my first time making it it's not really a tutorial it's just kind of like a work with me so um if y'all want i can't do a tutorial later on um once i kind of like get the hang of it and know what i'm doing because i might make mistakes oh <laughs> don't mind that that's just the bottle um warming it up for baby girl because it's almost time for her to eat so um yeah you guys let's get started so basically what it is just two um pieces of fabric with the pointed and um i believe we're just gonna center them together so these are the back side they're gonna be sewn together so it's gonna make like a seam in the back basically and this is the front um this is for the belt loop i think i'm gonna switch it to this fabric instead of like black um depending on how i feel I guess and obviously two elastics uh smaller elastics for the legs and the bigger one i chose a non-roll one for it and it's a inch wide elastic um for the waist so yeah you guys let's go okay so first thing i'm gonna do um the instructions don't say it but i feel like it works out better for me in the long run. I'm just gonna serge all the edges. Um, I'm not gonna cut anything because mine has a cutter and I can't turn it off. So I'm just gonna serge what I can or all of it really. And then I'll go ahead and sew the backs together um, like it says. So first I'm just gonna serge. Okay, so now that we have sewn all of the, or not sewn, but surged all of the edges of the pattern. And this baby girl right here, she, she's chilling with us. I need to find something so I can like set her up a little higher. She was eating, but she didn't finish all the milk. So she might start crying a little bit because that's when she wants to finish. 
So anyways, we so sewed, I keep saying sewed, surged all the edges of the pieces. Um, so pattern says, right sides together. This is the back of what is the boomers. And we're gonna sew. There's half an inch of seam allowance. So anyways, right sides together and then you're gonna sew all right here at a half an inch seam allowance. That seems like a lot to me, but you know, what do I know? I'm just, you know, self-taught basically, so. Of course, with some help from people on YouTube. your seams um, the pattern says to one side um, which would be like left or right whatever you want but I kind of just want to press them open like this I feel like it'll be like less bulk in my opinion I could be wrong again again I'm testing it out so don't come for me Oh. Here we go. Sorry, I don't want to bump into you. So here's my little dandy, handy dandy little iron. Now I press the seams open. Just gave a whole thing a little nice little iron. Because why not, you know? Maybe that's why it says to press into one side because of this part right here. Yeah, you make it work. Cause yeah, like, I don't know. I just feel like it's less bulky. Part of me is like tempted to like sew on each side, but we're not gonna do that. So that's that, there you go. You got your back side right there. Nice, pretty back side. I might actually just sew it all the way down. Let me not do that. I'm being extra. Anyway. And then after that, it says to fold both front and back um, the waist part. First, you're gonna fold it a quarter of an inch. And then you're gonna fold it uh, an inch and seven eighths of an inch. Yeah. So anyways, grab my little handy dandy measuring tape here and measure out a quarter of an inch. Should be like right there. If you want, you can mark it. I like to mark it sometimes, especially if like it's my first time. Just so I know. So basically everything that I've searched, I'm just gonna fold it down. That's where we're going to start off. And then we'll measure out the rest of it.
You wanna measure. You know what would be good too if you have that little tool, but I don't even know what it's called. I just know what it looks like. It looks like a like a T. So inch. Okay. So you're gonna Okay, so you're gonna measure out now to fold over uh inch and seven eighths. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Where did my marker go? So we're gonna fold. All the way down. And then you can just like, once you fold it, you can just go back and see if, you know, you folded it enough. Should be fine, like all the way across. Just like that. And you want to press it. But yeah, I definitely need to get me one of those tools. I need to figure out what they're called first and then buy myself one of those tools. So there's the first one. Now the second one. Okay, and now we are going to <laughs> unfold it, apparently, after you press it. And then you're gonna put the back and front sides, right, right sides together. You're gonna straight stitch all the way down the sides at half an inch. And I guess it was a good idea for me to like serge because it says to either like uh, zigzag stitch the edges, the raw edges, or to overlock it, serge it, same thing. Um, so I guess I was ahead of the game a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, just straight stitch, straight stitch all the way down on each side of the bloomers, shorts, bloomers, whatever you want to call them. Alrighty then, and then again, just press so it looks nice and pretty. I'm gonna cut off all this extraness. Baby girl. We're gonna do the same thing for the leg part, the little part where the legs are gonna come through. So you're gonna fold it all the way around. Just like that, just fold it all the way around. This is getting ready, to, I guess, to make like the casing for the elastic. Excuse the noise. People like to be booming over here. Well, now you want to finish.
with your milk. So after you press the little part that you surged or didn't surge or whatever, um, you're going to fold half an inch. Okay, so I pressed that little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and it says um, to press it up half an inch, um, but I'm just going to press it the size of my elastic ish so my yeah my half an inch so if you want go ahead and grab your little measuring tape a little tool or something and measure out half an inch all the way around i usually just start at the beginning and then you know just kind of let it Fold naturally ish. <laughs> naturally. Okay. And then it wants you to. Sew the crotch together. And your seam's gonna be half an inch again. Seems to be the trend. Just press it open. Okay. What you're gonna do is everything that you've um, ironed. So where you pressed the loopholes, you're gonna sew all the way around. Um, just keep in mind that you need to leave an opening for your elastic. So you can leave an opening, I guess, wherever you want, really. Um, but I guess, um, personally, I would leave an opening around the crotch area also I always get like wonky around like the curves like I haven't perfected that part yet um, so they might turn out kind of weird thank god that it stretches so it'll like scrunch up so you won't see it too much don't look too bad it worked out the only part that's kind of iffy is that little area but that's why we're trying it out for see what we can do to not have it happen but this side came out right or okay so since it's in the crotch I don't think it would really matter that much 
also we'll just wait and see what it looks like in the end okay now so the top part where you ironed um, and pressed it just find that again and um, you're gonna sew all the way around um, at the bottom and you're gonna leave an opening for your elastic obviously so don't forget that because I forgot it on one of the legs so you don't want to forget that ladies and gents all right so we're gonna go all the way around I'm gonna leave a loop in the back um, also, it's be a good time for you to put like your tag or whatever in there. So. so now you're going to sew a top stitch like up here. So it's going to basically make like a casing for your elastic and it's going to have like a little waffle top. So mine is a little wide. Um, I, don't know, I might just still use it like that. Um, yeah, so mine's an inch, so I'm gonna yeah. stitch around. Careful. Tony loves me. 